fly. Uh, okay. Has to be. Uh, they said you're a Patriots fan too. Yes, yeah, sir. New England Patriots since uh that snow game where they had to the, invented the tuck rule. Dude, dude, shut the fuck up. Bro, I'm serious! Like that was 20 years ago. Bro, like there is no way you were a Warriors fan when he was at Davidson and you're a Patriots fan. They're on the opposite sides of the country. I, I know, bro, but look, it's like a small, you ever heard like a, uh, it's a big world, but like small world at the same time? It just like happened. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about right now? That actually was the most incoherent statement I've ever heard in my life. What? It's a small it's a, world. It's, no, it's a, it's a gigantic world, bro. What? Like, there's no way you're a Warriors fan and a Patriots fan. Wait, me. wait, why not? Like, what, what's like, is there like a hidden rule book or something? Or the teams, wait, how many miles, like, each team, like, you, you're an NBA, NFL fan, like, how many miles apart, like, can you allow to be a fan of? It's not, bro, this is how it normally works, okay? I'll give you an example. I was born and raised in Florida. I cheer for nice. all the Tampa teams. Tampa Bay Bucks, Tampa Bay Lightning. We don't have a team in Florida for Tampa, so we I cheer for, like, Orlando Magic, like you cheer for your area, flight. Like, no you way. Don't cheer for the Warriors and the Patriots. No way, bro. Who are the bro. two best teams for like all of the 2010s, bro? That's not how that works, like. No, bro, look at them now. It, it, it shows that you know staying loyal. You know the last I say two years at least, three years. Jesus Christ! All right, man. All right, fine. I guess you're. You know what? You know what? You're a fan because you're still a Patriots fan. I guess. Yeah.